Gemara. Today's daf is daf Ches. And we were learning about that don't, uh, don't have to pay certain taxes. You know, let's have a personal benefit from it, but they don't need Shemira. As Yechen said, or um, or sand, like a Shlopi said. Okay, so we're up to the Gemara here with our Papa, about 20 lines from the top of the page. First of the line is Rapapa. Rapapa Roma Kalya Khadata Yasma. Rapapa levied a tax on Yasemi to build a new well. Amla Sheshav Ravila Rapapa Vidima Lembidavo. What happens if you're not if you don't find any water? And the problem is that everybody else, you know, we might okay, we give you money thinking you'll find water, you bore a hole. Okay, but children, you say me, children cannot be Michael. Yasma Lavane Michilum had Mobazil Khabeza. So how can you take the money before you found the, the water? Amalay, Mishko Shakilamanayu. I take the money from them. If I'm successful in finding the money, it will water her fine. And Eloi, Mahadan Elonahalay, I will give return the money to them. So therefore, I don't need to secure their pardoning, their forgiveness. Omar have you so now we're talking about whether have to contribute as well to we learned in the mission that was established that there's a thing called community uh, you know responsibilities that everyone has to contribute would they all benefit so you collect money from everyone when it comes to the fixing the doors at the front of the wall surrounding the city because this protects the city however I feel I feel again Third time we had it. Rabbonum don't need protection, so they don't have to contribute at all. Everyone has to go and contribute the karya pasi. That's a kodarashi means digging holes to find wells. And pasi is a pail. But because you use a pail to, to draw the water, so we call karya pasi. Tracer says it's talking about leveling the, the roads to make sure that they're, the roads are good, no potholes and no bumps and all that. Then I feel Rabbonum. Why film Rabbanim? Because they also benefit directly from it. They need water to drink or they need to walk on the road. But, and this is very important, we'll come back to this later. Well, I'm not going to be able to do the ones going out there digging up the wells or flattening the roads, leveling the roads. They have workers. They have workers. They hire. I will not be If they personally have to go out there and pick up a shovel and do the digging or the leveling, don't go out to do that because it's a bazaar for them at home. They don't go and do the work personally. Now, we'll come back to what I was talking yesterday about um, people learning whether they're going to the army or not. Rebbe, Rebbe, Pasach, Oitzes, Bishne. This is a difficult Gemara to understand. Maybe we'll learn this one. Rebbe, Pasach, Oitzes, Bishne, Betray. Rebbe once said there's a hunger year, famine at Yisrael, and being the wealthiest man, Tayyip Dulu Makamechad, he uh, opened up his treasures of food. Oh, this is an announcement he made. You come to Bale Mikra, those are the Chumish, Bale Mishnah, those are the Mishnahis, Bale Gemara, those are the Gemara, Bale Aloha, Lerna Aloha, Bale Agoda, Medish, Avla Amaris, Al Yikonsu. Very difficult to understand. What, you don't have to uh, feed uh, your Amaratsim? Yeah. The only possible shot, I think, is <clears throat> that uh, maybe we're talking about, and the Rambam writes, the Rambam writes actually in Yikonsunim, if there's a famine, and you only have a certain amount of food. There's a order. There's a protocol. Who gets first and who gets second? Mm. And maybe over here we're talking about there's limited amount of food. So everybody said, look, I have to ration the food. And therefore, uh, I mean, the Chamim, varying degrees will get, but not Amaratim. Otherwise, you have to give them much like anybody else. Anyhow, he had a style Talmud called Rabbi Yenis Ben Amram. The Nichnas, he went in incognito. Now, this is like me. I don't remember who my students are. Rabbi didn't recognize him. Amla Rabbi Parasani, feed me. Amla Rabbi Karusa, you learn Chumash, or like. Shanisa, a little difficult to understand. If you don't know Chumash, why do you think you learn Mishnayis? No, no, why would you think you learn If you don't know Chumash, why would you learn Mishnayis? Unless, as um, Teisha says about Bas, actually about Bas and Kufidal, that Amaroi were not Bokim, so they didn't learn Chumash, they didn't learn much Chumash, we had about Kamal and Tess, or Rabbi Zor will have. So therefore, maybe that's why, even though you don't know Chumash, maybe you learn Mishnayis. He came a man for and said, so what am I going to, why Why would I give you food? Amalei Panasani, feed me Kekelev Uka Ayrev. You feel like a dog and like a crow. No, no, because the, the Rashi brings it that a dog, actually, it's another Gorashi that brings There's nothing poorer than a dog. And a dog has a, um, um, it eats his food, it can eat, store it within his body for three days. So give me a little bit of food and it'll take care of me for a while. 
or an oirev, the an oirev is, is mean and cruel, does not feed its own kids. So it says we say the behemalach say in davening every day. The behemalach, the behemalach, or the the oirev actually you crow. The children of an oirev they call after the abishter because the mother doesn't give anything. So I need something. I have no one to give me. Give me something. Now very interesting. I saw this somewhere. I remember where the behemalachma behema the behemalachma behema is gematria the same gematria as kelav. Behem. So this is the the remez to this model right here. With nei oyev asher loy asher loy asher yikro. So the behem is the kelav and the and the oyev is the is the what do you call it? The oyev yikro. They need David's help. Panase. They be feel guilty and gave him something. Also, not after he left, Yosef never started had misgivings. One with oily shalasati piti lamores. So the way we just learned it is he pushed it. He had he had limited rations, but we'll soon see that wasn't every svara. So. Maybe we just do the and change the Rachel Hans. He doesn't want to have any benefit from the Torah that he learned. from his lifetime, but could they investigate? After he found, Rabbi, you come to Hako. Rabbi said, oh, "You took me less, so let won't come in." Now the Gemara now said, "There's a reason why you don't give time Now what I just told you before that because you know there's, there's limited rations. Rabbi let time Rebbe refused to give You know why? Because he believed Amar Rebbe ain't put on his ball or oilam elabishul amaris. The, the reason why there's a family camaraderie, why more would I feed them? We're being punished because of them. In other words, it was a deliberate thing. Not, he might have had plenty of food, not because there was a shortage of food. But he's changing his mind. It's not because he's suddenly No, it could be. There might be other time in the family. Could also be. Other time in the family masquerading as camaraderie. Could be. Yeah, now I'll prove it to you. There's a story to make a little. There's a story of, of um, the money of a crown, the Shadu of Tiberia. So, um, so the engagement thing says that what happened was the, the king um, decided to make himself a crown, and he went to the city of Troy. I want you guys to contribute. Sorry, he gave them a crown to mine for them. He gave them a crown to mine, and it was stolen or was lost. So, therefore, the Thai said Troy had to reimburse the the the, the, the you know the, the, the kingdom or the emperor, whatever it is, the, the monarch for the crown. Also, come the rabbi. They came for rabbi. Um, um, relay lease. What about him? Why only we have to pay? The rabbi should also contribute to this tax. Um, lulay. Rabbi don't pay the tax. A little bit pay. Rabbi don't pay tax. Um, lulay ruku will flee. Um, lulay ruku flee. Orku palga and half of them fled. Dalia palga. Half of them fled. Fled, and he made uh, and he um, the king was moichel half the tax. Also, Han of Palga came made the Rebbe. This other half came before Rebbe. Um, the Lishi Rabbanon and Bahadon. The other half remaining half. So now we definitely need the Rabbanon to contribute. We're paying, you know. Um, the Loi. No, Arukin will flee. Aruku, flee. Aruku, Kulu. All Amaratz in the city fled. Pasha, who was only one person, a Kibbutz, a launderer. Shadu you have Kibbutz. The king then put the tax on the launderer, or well, they threw the tax on the launderer because the Rabbanon don't pay. Or like he fled Kibbutz. Paka Kulu. The tax was gone. The king acknowledged that the so, so therefore it's big machlake, it's very interesting machlake is a shame on the basis of this Gemara. If there's a tax on the community, and somebody was living at the time when the tax was levied, and then he left. Is he possible? It may, maybe it's possible, but if he comes back, does the, does the does he have to now? Even though when he by the time he come back, the, the tax wasn't there anymore. Does he have? Can they come and and demand from him payment because he was there? <laughs> anyway, what we think here is because of the Amaras. Now <laughs> we said clearly that the Rabban don't need protection. We'll have the bottom page again. The Rabban don't need protection at all. The Rambam says that Shavit Levi does not go to the army. Shevet Levi does not go to the army, and then the Rambam says that not only Shevet Levi be able to end, not only Shevet Levi, but any Yid who behaves like Shevet Levi that sits and learns Torah doesn't have to go. Clear. What's the reason? So there's um, so there's two possible reasons: either because Torah is their wall, like here, or because anything bad that happens happens because of the other people, not because of Tamid Chachamim. And and Torah protects you while you're learning. Plus, we had the Gemara of Darz Olam Beis, and there's a, a Gemara in Shavuos of Lamed Hay, where it talks about using Tamid and Chamim to um, to go to war. Angaria. Plus, he had the Gemara here that if it's a chluza, even though they have to pay for it, but even though if it's a chluza, if they have to physically take a shovel, they have to go and do work, they don't go. Even something where they do have to pay, 
let alone something where they're protected that they don't have to, they shouldn't go because it's a, they should be learning Torah. So, and it doesn't make a difference here between the Rambam doesn't make a distinction at all between a Mechemes and Shosh and Mechemes Mitzvah. In fact, it talks about, in fact, it talks about the Gemara Nadar talking about Avram Avinu who went to save a hostage, light. And because he usually has it, and he, Avram Avinu got punished, as Igmar Lam Bey says over there. He got punished because he, even though it was take hostages back, so that explains the side that says and, 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 that uh, what do you call it? Even though it's the Mechamas Mitzvah and they're hostages of Islam and so on and so forth, they have to sit in the trader. So they have to sit in the trader, not to play around hostages. Sit in the trader. Others obviously make a distinction between the Mechamas Mitzvah and the Mechamas Rishus, and 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 so on. And and saving light maybe not Raya because light was um was the yid or anything like that. Halachically. Okay, anyway, you can see the big controversy. At least you can see there's two sides. The Kamla Yehei Bebe Yaganshi, how long she been a sinner being a member of the city? But I mean, it was a question that says, Achamere, somebody writes, Don't kill Gamel as a Kamla, I've heard Mogamog be traveling through the Lama Toycha, and they spend a little bit of time. Buhut in Ir Hadachas, the Lobi Hadachas is that if you're individual, there's a certain punishment and nothing happens to your possessions. But if it's the entire ear, if worshiping a way to Zod, instead of getting a skiller, you get Cherev. But all your money gets burnt in the city. So these people are passing through and they stayed in the city when this happened. So the Hutri Iman and they got caught up in what's going on here, hang the skill mine and pull They're not considered denizens of the city, and therefore they get the individual punishment. But I mean stores are like they're 30 days, hang the saif and mine over. But then for 30 days, they get a uh, saif, they become like a member of the city. 30 days. And our Mishnah says 12 months. Amaray Lokasha. Hall leave name Mosa. Holy Yeshuva must. There's a difference when it says in the Pasik, if they are sitting, um, if they were called, if they are Yeshiv of their a member of the city, a Yeshiv, or uh, a Yeshiv of the city is 30 days. And there it says, by Yenadach says Yeshiv here. So if you did for 30 days, you're a member. Here we're talking about when you consider a member of the city, you have to pay, not a Yeshiv here, but a, a city member, Anjir, that you have to pay all the duties and, and so on and so forth. Can you tell me, look, I'm a Mudan, I'm Anjir. If you said, I if I did this and this, I'll have no benefit from anybody in this city. Kosher Shosh Mechot, we did 12 months. He said, Anshir, he has to be the 12 months. And also, Lohanus Mehenu. If he said, any person that's considered Anshir, so anybody who lives in Anshir, I will not have benefit from that individual person. Pachet became Mutter. But the person was only there for six months. He, he couldn't have an offer from them. It's not included in that. But if he said, Meyosh Mehir, anyone who dwells in the city, Kosher Shosh Mechot, also Lohanus Mehenu. Anyone who's there 30 days already, you can't have any benefit. Pachet became Mutter, and you so the Gemara will hold me, leave me, be in a Yubel Chayy. You tell me for a Kami, you said the Mishnah Kami Yabam, you hit 12 months. Everything in 12 months, the time you be learned, Shloishim Yem, the Tamaku, if you're in the city, 30 days, you already have to contribute to a Tamaku, which is a food platter they gave to the Armalite, poor people. Shloisha Chadashil of Kupa, if you're there three months in the city, then you have to pay for the uh, the Kupa, the general, you know, coffers on stock. Shisha Lixus, six months you have to contribute for clothing. And Tisha Lixus, nine for, for, um, for burying people. Everything which is more and more expensive, we don't take you until you're there longer. And Shnei Master the Pesah here, and 12 months before you have to pay for the wall of the city and so on. So we see that it's less than 12 months. I'm not talking about the mitzvah of Zaka. Um, so the Gemara says, Tanya, 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 Category of how long you have to be in the city before you have to. But it's amazing how they used to force you, we'll see more soon, to give you a stock community, the whole idea of a community. And there used to be levies, and they have to give not only money for the seat in the shul, but you have to also uh, give the tzedakah, you know, all these things, and food, you have to give everything. Everyone has to contribute to the wall. Again, this is a wall so surrounding the city, fortifying the city to protect them from mortars and from enemies. Rabban don't have to give the Rabban Eloi Tzrich and the I don't, don't need protection. Again, I want a papa. Says a papa, the shooter to fix the walls, the pasha, they used to hire somebody sitting on a war horse to ride around the city, see if there's any cracks in the wall or whatever, and it proves how to make protecting. All the tazina, the person who wanted to keep all their weapons in the house right next to the wall, the person, who, the, the, the sentry, the guy who used to watch the house, the guard. I feel me asking, you say me need benefit. I will abandon the chicken to How many times did you already say this on this page? Rabbanon don't need protection. This is the general rule. Anyone who gets benefit from Yasma, he continues to say me. So why don't Chacham have to give? The Chacham don't have to give because they have no honor from it, because they're protected. 
that's the other way of learning it. The reason why Chachamim don't need it is not because they're protected, but because the trouble is does not start from them. The trouble comes from others. Even when more Shabbat and Hayde, that when it comes to Chur Beis and the Rabban are the ones who got punished first. Why? Because they should have stopped all the other people doing Avedas and they didn't stop. So Chachamim are also culpable. They have to do things, otherwise the, the tzaddikim come from them. Rabba Roma Zdoki Ayash is made by Maria. Maria is a very wealthy, very wealthy family, said Maria Gershom. And Rabba made them pay Zdoki. I'm going to buy you by telling somebody you name Poiske Zdoki, you're going to do Pinish Rim. You don't need to do Pinish Rim, which is the greatest mitzvah. I'm going to know the Chashvuni Kavina. I'm doing it for their benefit because then people say, ah, they're nice family, they're nice people, help for the Duchim, help for the, for the future. So if I do it for their benefit, they have a personal hand not from it, you can take from them. Ifra Hurmiz, Ifra Hurmiz, Ifra Rashi says means a, ch- a charm, and according to Rashi, Hurmiz is a demon, not here, Rashi also, also says, Teisa says that Ifra is charm, but the Hurman is like a, is not, is, um, that this Hurmiz or Hurmin, um, uh, what do you call it, is, is actually good. Anyhow, this woman, Eima de Shavimal, because she's the mother of her son, was a Shavimal, we had a number of times. <clears throat> Shadr Anaki, we had before that he, you know, that he explained to him the dinim. He wanted to know. She threw. Interesting how she threw um, a quality of money to be but disrespectful. Omna, she said, Level Mitzvah, I want you to spend it for a very large mitzvah. Charity for a large mitzvah. Yes, I have a mind mitzvah, but it's a great mitzvah. Omna, buy a minute. Tony, from what you made, put it on yourself, will be the shrimp, my opinion, shrimp, Mr. Abbey. Pinny shrimp is a great mitzvah. Taste already asking, I'll take money from a guy from Stocker. How in the world will I be to take your money? The simple answer he gives is, because uh, you have no choice. This is the this is the royal family here, and uh, if they give you money, you have no bread but to give it. And he couldn't cheat and give the money to going for example, he said, financing so that you take money from a guy for tzedakah because you're giving and you give a it to the guys poor people. But here, if she dis- specified mitzvah rabba, you cannot deceive her. We had a, well having a marachulin that if a guy comes into a, a kosher butcher shop says I want kosher to meat, you can't give him trace meat because you can say oh this is him kosher. Because that's deception. So if she said Mitzvah Rabbah, he took the money because of Shalom Malchus. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but then, so says an interesting thing. You allow, the modern Erechim will have, you allow to take a candle from a guy for a shul. So says, how do you like to take candles for a shul? So Taysa says, when you donate things for a shul, it's like you're giving a carbon. It's not with it's duck. It's like okay. a carbon. Now the question within Taysa is, is it, because you're giving a commodity, not money, because you're giving a candle. Is that the word? Or the word is what you give anything to a shul, it has the status of what luck is when you're helping a person, you know, a person out. Personally, here, it's like a carbon. And then take it from the extrapolate. What about giving to a school? What about giving to, uh, to a base, to a coil? Is that all like a carbon? Or is that tzedakah? Look at the last two lines of traces. They says, uh, um, how you like to give a uh, thing? Hossum to three lines at the bottom, that in the last page on the page. Hossum time, but the reason why I show this is should I have the come a carbon. Giving to show like a carbon, Brahmin, ish, ish, the rabbis knock him, the goyim should noise him, the dodim, the dodim. So when it comes to carbon, the goyim can give it, says ish, ish. Remember, we had that the goyim can give a carbon as well. So interesting. So <clears throat> it's a whole different get But how do we interpret that? Anyway, back to the opinion of is a Mr. Rabba. So Tayshid asks a question over here, and we have a Megillah that it says that a person can sell a safe of Torah in order to go learn Torah or to get married. You know, we're choosing the biggest mitzvahs. Why does not matter Pidna Shurim? So he said Pidna Shurim is a given. Of course, you're allowed to sell. In fact, we had before, you can even sell a shoe almost, you know, for Pidna Shurim, uh, if it was never been used. So Tayshid's, um, but the Tayshid's and Abayzada brings us Sheiltas, fascinating Sheiltas. That the reason why the Gemara brings only these two mitzvahs, Limul Toyd and Lisisha, because they're the smallest mitzvahs that we have. And Kolkim Kabuchaymen, you can sell us your Toyda for any other mitzvah that you want. Yeah, well, we had in Kedushan in the first page, Talmud Toyda, you know, which is great. And the Godel Talmud Toyda Shemeva de Maisa. And he had the end of the public comment, actually, the first page. But that's what Shilta says in Tayshas. I think it's a few pages, I remember. Where that these are the smallest mitzvahs to get married, even though we had we have that few gimel that Puravu is a mitzvah rabba, whatever. Okay. Anyway, back to the gemara. How do we know about the mitzvah? Who told me the mitzvah is a good mitzvah? Amalei to see that pasuk. Why you can't melecha? It will say to you, Anonate, where should we go? You know, I mean, bubbles attacking and so on. But Martin, you tell them, come, Hashem, Hashem, Lama, Lama. Those who will die natural die naturally. So the chelu chelu. Those who die by sorrow, sorrow, there's a lot of hunger, hunger. So the shevli, shevli. And the last thing mentioned are taken captive. The worst thing is to be taken captive to be hashir achmanu 
Chered Kashim and Babas. How do we know that a sword is is is, is, is stricter than a, is much harsher than a natural death? Iba is a makro. Iba is a maswara. Iba is a maswara. Is logical. High come and We have natural death. Nothing happens here. On the other hand, here it's degrading. Iba is a makro. It's an apostle. Yakeb in Hashem. Precious in the eyes of Hashem. Hamavs to the chesidim that those chesidim die natural deaths. Rav kashim echad hunger famine is even worse than the sword. Why? Iba is a maswara. High come and start on the sword is instantly, but hunger is something that prolongs the pain. And Iba is a makro. Pasuk it says. It's better to choose uh, be, to be killed by a sword than those who die by hunger. Shevi Kurgul Herno hung captives worse. The cool east of Hubei, everything is there. The sword they can do with you whatever they want. They can give a sword, they can salvation, everything. From your learn, Kupa Shul's Daka, the Kupa of Daka, Nik Biz Bishnai, meaning two people to collect Tzedaka, Umiz Chalek is Bishlaisha. And you you distribute in three. Nick Bishnaim, you collect with two people. She ain't oisim srora salatiba bishnaim because when you don't, you cannot behave like a bezin, like an officer, unless there are two people. Because you are going, you can force people to give stock as a sunsi. Um is chalek is bishlaisha, but why do you distribute in three? Kedini mamunis, because you have to adjudicate how much money you can give this person, how much money. You're like a bezin every time you're distributing how much, and a bezin needs three. When it comes to giving out the food, Nigbiz the Shlaisha collection, they also you have to take with three and you give out with three. Why? When it comes to collecting stuff, you only do two because we there are fixed amounts how much every person in the city has to give, or everyone gives the same amount. So there's no you don't have to sit every time and determine there's no bezin involved, it's only distribution. Every poor person, different needs, different things. When it comes to Tamchu, everyone gave whatever they wanted to give. So um, either you need a bezin, or because you, 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 you had nowhere to store the food, they would take the food and distribute it straight away. If they only had two to collect it, you'd have to find a third person. Meanwhile, you, a poor person is being, you know, is, is in hunger. So we want the three people to be readily available. Uh, together. Collect food every day because they have nowhere to store it and you have to distribute every day. Cooper better shower shop, but money once a week. Tamchu Lani Oilam Tamchu you give to all the poor people and Cooper Lani, but the the stock the funds you only give to the locals. But I show you in year last Cooper Tamka Tamchu Kuba Benaya year, which is very powerful as a soon see, they can decide to change the money for the cause. But the Shanoi Khamaj and go step further, they can change it wherever they want. Benaya year, big machine is showing you when you whatever you want. Some of the shame like being Tam, for example, holds they can use it even for Dvari Rishus. Not for you know poverty or food or anything else. They use it for Dovid Shus. And within that is Machlaik, Dovid Shus but benefit the poor people, or Dovid Shus that benefits the city. In other words, you give the money to Bnei here, they're like the they're the Balabatim of the city, and you give it to them and say, guys, you're in control, do whatever you want. Others say the Khamaj is only Sadaka to change it to another form of Sadaka. You cannot just change it to Dovid Shus. But I show you in Bnei Yair, Lahas al is very important that the people of the city, Bnei Yair, they can go ahead and decide, you know, that a pound or kilo is not a kilo, what you think. A kilo is not a thousand, um, what do you call it, uh, grams, but a kilo will be from now on 800 grams. And we'll call that a kilo. They can do that. But they can fix prices. Valchar he said, these are wages. We have a, a court that comes to the tribunal that comes together. And this is the wages. Nobody gets less or, or more. Very powerful. Well, the Hasi al plus they can penalize people if they don't follow their behavior. We're talking about B'nai Ha'ir. There's a concept called Zion, we had Megillah. Then Zion to the ear, they are very powerful. We'll see. Oh, my man, we learned. You know, this is what I'll say, but I don't know how you know that. Oh, my Nachman, oh, my crow, because it says in Posse, the Haim Gikhu, as Azov, they should go ahead and take the gold by the Mishkan. It says, Haim, plural. You need two people. It seems from here that you, you, the problem is you need control. It's not a question of believing. But this supports Chanina. Chanina, there's a story. Amina Rebbe. Rebbe was appointed Shnei two brothers, Allah Kupa. Well, you have two people there. But as far as Adis is concerned, two brothers are not worthy Adis. He said, it's not a question of belief, of, of, of credibility. It's more of a question of, um, not credibility, but it's a question of, uh, what do you call it? Um, um, what do you call it? Authority. My solution, when you see authority by Tzedakah, the number of Nachar of Abul, if you show Mashkin in Tzedakah, I feel better Shabbos. And of Shabbos, you guys are taking a shower, getting ready. You can go into somebody's house and force them to give Tzedakah. So when Aini says, look, see, who Pekadati, I will remember our collections of all those oppressed people and loose people to give Tzedakah all the time, and, and especially the month of June. Everybody keeps on going and going and going. But I'm not going to be able to do that. I feel like I'm going to be able to do Even the guy is Tzedakah. Has to give a day of reckoning if he harasses too much. Like Kasha, how do I mean the person is rich? The guy but has a right to force him. How do I'm not rich? How do rather Ach fail that I'm not so bad? He wants to force him. He's a very wealthy man. The shakul extracted from him. Arba mei zuzel is talking. 
four hundred dollars doctor. Big question everybody asks. We had the, we will have more that we do we you know we had more chulin that you can force people to do mitzvah say. Um not to take the beat them to a pulp. But we had more chulin that if it's a mitzvah say shematnas chada betzida when they tie this person up for not listening to his parents. If it's a mitzvah where the toyda gives you the reward in the toyda, then bezin does not is not mitzvah you know to 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 beat them to do the mitzvah. So how can you force someone to stalker? By stalker it says be glau dobrazer you'll be blessed and everything else. Yeah, but that's a real drush. But it says a confession of passing that keep a glad over there by giving stock, you'll get rewarded. So what's so how can you force? So Taysa says over here, Kriya means cajoling, not physically. Then another answer to Taysa is there's a lab also, like the Amits. There's a lab here that you should not with you know, you should not tighten your, your fists and not give. So there's a lab, and that's how we can force, which then begs the question that everybody wonders based on that answer. How can we learn that you know Shemir Kunta Yusuf is putter uh, from uh, from Zdok because he's busy taking care of Shemir Aveda the Shemir Sacher because he gets the benefit, doesn't have to give Zdok. Now Lukhaida, when do we say oh, you miss a pot on a mitzvah? Your potter from mitzvahs I say. If Zdok is a mitzvah's license, how can the Oisig Mitzvah be potter? So we can say there's two kinds of licenses. There's a license on its own, and there's a license where it's here to support the assay. The Laisa Amitz is not a separate Aveda. It is therefore open, Poseidon is going to open your hand, and Laisa Amitz is there to support the, the Mitzvah Assay. So this lav is considered a Mitzvah Assay as far as Oising and Mitzvah is concerned. So we focus on as if it's an Assay. On the other hand, it comes to forcing, it's a Laisa. Or it means that the Bezin is allowed to force any Mitzvah, just the Bezin will not be penalized if they don't do the forcing that they're meant to do. Okay, back to the Gemara. This is a very interesting thing for all teachers. That the masculine will shine like the radiance of the sky. Who are these people? That Dayan should done Din Emslamita Dayan who judges Emslamita. What's Emslamita? If you know that that the people in front of you are lying, but you can't prove it, so so sometimes we say. Uh, don't go ahead. And basically, the shame says it depends who. If the Tevea, the plaintiff, is a liar. Don't listen to the whole court case. If it's the the the, the defendant who's the liar, you can't say those are the court case because then he won. <laughs> then he won. So there it is. You can treat it as if you know what's happening and pass it accordingly, which is an unbelievable chiddush. Anyhow, umazdiki. So that's that's the highest level. Umazdiki rabim and those who help out others who make them do mitzvahs kikachav like stars. The gabbai's doctor, they get others to give doctor. The masnita tanabrais we learned hamaskil milki includes zed dayin on yomamida and the gabbai's doctor. The doctor is a step higher. Who masdiki ramikir chavul loy lebod emelam teachers. As we had in Marzachim, that teachers are a step lower than than you know talking about marrying your daughter. You know which class? But, uh, teachers are a step lower than a gabbai's doctor. Gabbai's doctor are very because you're getting others to do mitzvahs. Like this The Rav once, Rav once found Rav Shmuel Bar Shelut. I have a in the garden. You're not working today. You're retired. You're not working anymore. You're retired. Thirteen years I haven't been in front of a classroom. The Hashanami, and yet now, what am I doing in the garden? I'm thinking about my students, how their welfare, how they're doing. That's a real teacher. Cares about each individual student. Thirteen years later. <laughs> More than just a radiant sky. They're the sun. And Tesha said that they would bring some, they're the sun of the future where Mashiach will come, which is even higher. From the learned, Gabbage Dock, Ainus Relief, Gabbage Dock, remember, credibility is very important. So these two Kabbalah should always be together. I will point to the other Shabbos, so nobody should suspect that one of them is packing money. But you could separate a little bit as long as you, you have eye contact. This guy to the front door gate, and this guy in the store. Much of if you found money in the street, put it in your pocket where you have all the tzlaka money. People suspect. Place it in the tzlaka box. Then when you come home, take it then. A guy owed you $100. He met you in the street and he paid you. You don't put the money in your pocket because people suspect you. the guy gave you money for tzlaka and you're a swindler. Place it in the tzlaka box. Then you uh, you you then you take it. Like the carrying is a hundred key. This is like a poor thing you carry around. Yeah, exactly. A money belt. Talking about we learned. Gabbes lokas shelemani lechalik. What is gabbes again? Don't make credibility. Copper gets fajabed, gets uh, rusty over time, and silver stays long. So if you have a lot of money to, but there's no poor people to distribute to. Poitin lachelim. You want to swap it from from prutus into silver coins. 
Get, give it to others to swap it. The eight point last so don't change it yourself. People will be will be suspicious. God by Tamchush Ainlemanim Lechalik. What about the food? You have no one to give it to. Moichin you sell it, but Lachelim. The eight moichin last. Never sell it yourself. No matter what price you're going to pay, people will be suspicious. Moichin Zdoka Ain Moichin Noisin Shtayim. When it comes to Zdoka, you don't count two at a time. People think that you're 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 that uh, that you're counting one one, and you know that there's extra coins. Then you're going to put in your pocket. Um, my teacher Abba would not sit on these mats from a shoe because they bought his dark money and he felt should be only for the poor people. You know, not to change for anything else. Some people say that what happened was they took it from the shul and moved it to Beis Hamidrash, and he was going to it. And you're not allowed to swap. He thought you're not allowed to swap. The money was given for mats in the shul, and here it's a Beis Hamidrash. However, keeping the struggle of Tanya, you heard what we said, so that the Bnei ear can change it to every. Avi Yosef, he said. And here, there's no proof either way because it's still used for poor people for their benefit, just a mat and a base of It's not like double shus. Yosef, Yosef, I'm going to buy him. First, he used to have two two uh, wallets. He would, but I was also a fundraiser. He had one for the locals and one for the foreigners. Even the Shabbat, who said, that you can swap. So he made himself one wallet. But ask the Allah. And he made a tonight that what he told people, I'm going to give it. He made a tonight, I'm going to give it wherever I want to. Local foreigners, even I'm of Chakis of Asi made a tonight. Rabashi, I'm not asking you, 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 i the whole man, the other, the young, the chavi, Nikol Mashi. You have Mondays, I have Tuesdays. You have to, and whoever he does another day, we're gonna, whatever he checked it, we're gonna kill, and that's it. And and he can't use it anymore as, as a class. Other chavi, I other young, the chavi. One day he encroached, and he 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 checked it on his friend's day. The Kordel Mashi. The friend went and and and, and ripped up the, the animal with the, the high and everything else. Also, the chavi, the robber came for robber the trader. Chavinu robber the shul. Robber said to the, the other butcher, you have no right to rip it up. You can make a deal. Robert didn't answer him. I'm a papa shopping of it. The had like good didn't answer me. The honey milk like on the hush. You know, when you can make these deals when there's no hush of a person around, I will hate the eco of the hush of the hush person around. Love coke me now. You're the master. You have no right to make your own deals where you're affecting others because by doing this, the price probably went up a little bit because there's less competition and you can't do that. The Tabak Tadi Kadushim of the Shas right over here. And he and uh, and and talking about if you have an Adam Hushu. First of all, what's an Adam Chashu? Some say only someone like Rabbah, others say that any great rabbi. But the Ramba um, the Zemach says over here that just like the, the people who want to make a deal need the Adam Chashu, the Adam Chashu needs the people. An Adam Chashu can't make, okay, these are the rules on the unilateral rules, because it affects the people. He needs the entire trade. If you're talking about Shachtim, he needs the entire trade. And um, and to to work together with the rabbi and make a deal, and then the same said includes he doesn't understand what right the forum have of giving a haskama on the sefer, not to an author who made up his own sefer. But let's say people who, wrote, who printed shas and who printed mishnayisin, and then the rabbi to give haskama no because they worked hard on the shas. No one has a right to replicate the shas for ten years. Mm-hmm. And so I said, what right do you have? You're affecting everyone else. And you'll be affecting everyone else because you have a monopoly. Monopoly means you can charge more money. And also, monopoly means you don't have to be so particular and meticulous in the writing because no competition. So you're impacting others. When you impact others, you need an Odom Chashu like Rava, and you need to consult the people who are being affected by it. So the Tzema said it's wrong. Another Tzema said that you can argue that having uh, giving someone that 10-year right, they'll put they'll sink more money in or they can print more for him so it'll be cheaper and that people do benefit. So he said that should be the discussion. Are people benefiting from monopolies or are people actually being hurt? If they're being hurt, you cannot do it. If they're benefiting, then you can, because as if you consulted them. He said, that in itself, what is it? It's not the good thing or bad thing. Okay, let's continue.